My name is Paul Scardino, also known in the Funko world as the Pop Enthusiast, and I just broke the Guinness World Record for the largest Funko Pop collection again this year. We're gonna take a look at the collection now. See here in this first shelf, we have a bunch of Naruto, Sailor Moon, a bunch of Rick and Morty cover these bottom two shelves. There's a lot of Rick and Morty Pops. So I have of the pop rides, vehicles or on animals or different things like that. So here is Naruto on one of the toads. And so a lot of Dragon Ball Z, a lot of Super Saiyans up there. And Dragon Ball Z takes up about three sections all by itself. We got some Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'm gonna point out this pop, this is really awesome. So this is Aang, uh, a deluxe Aang uh, that they came out with. In the bottom uh, area here is all Demon Slayer, so a very popular anime. And then probably my favorite animation shelf. These are all the cartoons I personally grew up with in the 80s. So Masters of the Universe, He-Man, and then we have G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, here's Krang, the brain villain. And in the bottom shelf we have Transformers and Thundercats. So there are three more shelves in the animation my favorite out of the Simpsons are the the two aliens which came in a two pack several years ago. These are just super, super cool. So these animation shelves just have a bunch of different stuff. Murphs, Popeye, Inspector Gadget, Bob's Burgers, Bob with his burger cart, Courage, the Cowardly Dog, Dexter, Samurai Jack. This guy's turned backwards. The Powerpuff Girls, Steven Universe. Looney Tunes, like Bugs Bunny, Yogi Bear, Flintstones, Jetsons, Scooby-Doo, some Peanuts, Charlie Brown, original set of Adventure Time. And then we have a ton of Care Bears. Finally, the villain, No Heart, which was a Comic-Con exclusive last year. A couple sections of Nickelodeon. It's like Ren and Stimpy, SpongeBob, and SpongeBob in his pineapple house. Hey Arnold's fallen down in the back in 90s era cartoons. Then we have a whole section on South Park. And then the last section is more Netflix specific cartoons. Bojack Horseman, Ultron. So the next section is all movies. So this is seven shelves. King Kong, Godzilla, Avatar, remake of Dune, Mad Max, The Matrix, and Planet of the Apes. So these are kind of the most recent versions of those. The new Barbie movie, really awesome movie. The Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie in the back. Absolute favorite character for that movie was Jackie Chan playing Splinter. Jurassic World, so a lot of dinosaurs. First Space Jam, Kung Fu Panda, the Penguins from Madagascar, Coraline, Adam's Family, Box Trolls, Life Size, uh, Toothless, and a minion on skates down there. So the movie section continued. Uh, up top, we have a lot of Lord of the Rings, a couple sections of Harry Potter. A bunch of different Harrys from playing Quidditch to in his robes with Owl to the sorting hat scene, all sorts of different stuff. The original Wizard of Oz right here, which is probably one of my favorite sets. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with the tree. So you can see a bunch of the different comedy movies on here like Zoolander, Dodgeball, a lot of Will Ferrell, Mean Girls. The next section of the movies is more action movies. So that includes like Indiana Jones, Bruce Lee, my favorite movies of all time were all Bruce Lee movies, Pulp Fiction, Gladiator, the original sets, and some of the more recent Rocky Pops. And in the back, the original Jurassic Park set, the original Blade Runner, Harrison Ford, and then we have some uh, E.T. and Godfather Pops down here. And then some of my favorite pop rides are right here. So we have Scarface, a lot of Tom Hanks movies at the top here. That was a really neat pop that they did. Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka, the best Willy Wonka. Then we have some more um, 80s specific movies. Pretty Woman, which is my wife's favorite movie. So we even took the Chase Vivian out of the box to put up here. So almost too many to name, uh, but the, the bottom shelf, some of them have fallen over back there, but this is uh, mainly James Bond. Then we have some, some Jurassic Park, original Jurassic Park scenes. Here's another one, the kitchen scene. We got a 10 inch T-Rex over here as well. Now the last movie shelf is all horror. Original set of Universal Monsters, along with a six inch Jaws shark.
it has some classic um, horror movies here, Carrie over here, and even the, the killer clowns from outer space. So they've recently come out with a ton of these. Then we have uh, in the next section, Predator, uh, Alien, Alien Queen, six inch. And then here we have it, Pennywise, in the gutter. Really creepy. We have a whole bunch of comic book pops. So this area is all DC. Uh, 18 inch Batman. Really want my favorite movie DC pop rides, which is from Batman Returns, the penguin in the duck. And then that kind of moves us into the video game section. So there's two shelves of video games. Um, the gelatinous cube from Dungeons and Dragons. There's two of them. So this one has an arrow and the person's kind of sticking their arm out of there. This I, is really amazing that they made this into a pop and it came out really well. A whole set of Pac-Man back there, Five Nights at Freddy's, and a bunch of Fortnite as well. So behind me is another video game shelf. So this one has all the Pokemon pops on it. So this is almost a complete set. Sonic the Hedgehog and Mega Man. There are a bunch of Crash Bandicoot pops, Spyro, Resident Evil. And then on the other side of the DC and video game pops, we have the Marvel Comics pops. So the first couple shelves here are the comic book versions of characters. And as you go down, there's the movie MCU. It's gingerbread Marvel people in the back. And one of the newer ones is Wolverine with the Bah Humbug sign. And then we move into the MCU, so the movies. So they're in order from the first Captain America movie through Avengers, and they kind of come all the way down. Yes, that's a life-size baby group. Uh, this character was just ridiculous in the movie Modoc, and how they made him into Modoc, which is very much different than a comic book. But this looks like the guy from the movie. Now, one of my favorite pops on this side of the of the room is from Thor: Love and Thunder. It's Thor in the goat boat. So this whole wall here, all the way down to the right are my sports pops to include baseball, basketball, football, uh, UFC, college football mascots, tennis, a lot of ad icons starting with McDonald's, the McNuggets, Ronald McDonald, other ad icons, like Rice, Rice Krispies, Toys R Us, Jeffrey the Giraffe, which I miss. We have a 10 inch Tony Tiger over there as well. Have a line of what they have deemed just icons, JFK and Re Reagan having their own pop. We're on the other side of the basement, and so this is the Star Wars shelves. So this is categorized by the original movies on this side. And then the Clone Wars top, we have actual scenes and rides. And then on the left-hand side, we have the newer versions of the movies with Rey and Finn. So the Mandalorian takes up all of this shelf here, and that's not all the Mandalorian pops either. And then some of the other shows like Boba Fett, and Obi-Wan uh, and Ahsoka is in the back there. Next to the Star Wars pops, Chase pops and some of my, of my more valuable pops that I've kept in the box. And my most valuable pop is this guy right here, uh, Jesse Pinkman, Comic-Con exclusive from Breaking Bad. So the next section of pops that just kind of keeps going is television. So there's seven shelves of television. There are three more shelves back there. Stranger Things, um, categorized by season, uh, Game of Thrones, and The Walking Dead. And we have the six inch girl from Squid Game, a Big Bang Theory, and then we move into Friends. So here's the original Friends set, Seinfeld, The Office, and then here's all the several Dwights that they made. My favorite Dwight pop from the CPR scene where they're learning CPR and he ends up cutting the mask off and putting it on his face. Schitt's Creek in the front, Parks and Recreation. So here's a furry Snuffleupagus. Full set of Sesame Street and the original Muppets on this shelf. Some more kids TV, like way back in the day, I can remember Gumby. Then the next section is Saturday Night Live. And then we have one of my favorite shows of all time, Bob Ross. It's furry Bob Ross where his pro is furry, Power Rangers. So there's a lot of Power Ranger pops, uh, vehicles that they would fight in. The original Star Trek set, almost complete. I don't have the original Captain Kirk. And then as you go a little bit further down, it's all Doctor Who. The first Doctor, and then in order of the pops that they've made, 
to include also the TARDIS. This is a complete set of Breaking Bad, Lost in the Back, Baywatch, Gilmore Girls, uh, Dawson's Creek. So the next section is Disney. So there's four uh, shelves that go back that way that are all Disney. So many Disney pops, the original Corella, and then the remake. You can tell the difference and the different detail between the two. And then we have a whole shelf of Frozen. So this is Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Mike and Sully don't have the original Boo. Inside Out, which they just came out with a new movie and a new wave of pops, which are not up here. From Aladdin, we have the genie and Aladdin at the kind of the makeshift game show. Here we have Kronk and Yzma on the throne. These are mainly Disney princesses and different variants of Disney princesses. Mulan on the horse, Hercules on Pegasus. So here's here's the first Wreck-It Ralph next to the second Wreck-It Ralph. My favorite out of this section here has to be the up house. Carl and his and his wife Young getting married, but here is the actual up house with the balloons. So there's Scary Face Jack. Aliens from Toy Story dressed as other Disney characters. A life-size Jack-Jack from The Incredibles. We have WWE Pops. Shelves are some of the, the OG original wrestlers that I grew up with as a kid. And then we move into kind of the, the Attitude Era, like The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin and some other folks. And then we have more newer wrestlers. So the most recent Cody Rhodes. And then next to the WWE pops are the rock stars, the musicians, Bri Carey, Britney Spears, rock bands. In the recent Pet Pass for Black Friday, Walmart came out with these pop albums. And then one of my favorite bands right here is Soundgarden. Bad Motor Finger album, a uh, huge album cover. Order, this is where I keep all of my Freddy Funko pops. So Freddy Funko, if you didn't know, is the mascot of Funko and he cosplays as, a, as all different characters. Here is a four pack. So at New York Comic Con last year, I met one of the founders of Funko, Mike Becker, Funmaker Mike. And so he actually gave this to me uh, when I met him, just out of the blue, and signed it and drew a little Freddy Funko like he does on it, which was really awesome. He was really cool to meet, really down to earth, really nice. Um, this was amazing. So this is the uh, four of the original folks that were around when Funko started. Uh, Mike Becker is the, really the main face. Uh, but thank you, Mike. Really appreciate this. This was really, really cool. This was an unreleased four pack. So this was not for sale anywhere. I don't even know how you can get this. But I also wanted to show this pop. So this is, it is an official pop. This is me. So Funko started a, a pop yourself line. So you can go online, pick different accessories and outfits and different things. So I just picked a couple accessories, a Funko pop, and then like a trophy for Guinness glasses and a beard. And this is how it came out. <laughs> Here is the updated certificate for the Funko Pop World Largest Collection, 8,002 pops. So this is the third time that I'm breaking this particular record for the largest Funko Pop collection. I love Funko Pops so much because they, to me, are a way to connect with other people as well. So we all share a lot of common passions and have a lot of differences, but also share a lot of commonality. And I think Funko Pops are one way to connect with other people whether they agree with you or not i actually use funko pops at my mental health therapy practice to help connect with kids and adults and just find out more about them and what they like if you want to see more of my collection videos or content you know check out my social media which is the pop enthusiast on youtube instagram twitter you can pretty much find me everywhere tiktok um, just look for the pop enthusiast